When your computer is connected to the True Touch display, the display becomes a giant mouse pad, and you can do anything that you would normally do on your computer on the touch screen. To do this, choose the source to which your computer is connected. Now you can do things as you normally would. For example, if I wanted to browse the internet, I launch my browser and open a new web page as I normally would. Any website that has touch response becomes especially interesting. For example, here we're in the Earth mode on Google Maps. And I have Pinch to Zoom. When I hit the Map mode, I'm in Maps. And I can zoom in. And I can zoom out. When I go into Earth mode, I can spin the big blue marble around. We show this to demonstrate how any digital content or web page that has touch response becomes especially engaging on the TrueTouch display. One of the questions that teachers ask is how they can annotate on the TrueTouch display. One of the ways that you can do that is to use the software that you're already used to using every day. For example, in PowerPoint, when I launch a PowerPoint, I select full screen mode and I advance the screen by sliding from right to left. I go back by swiping from left to right. If I want to annotate in PowerPoint, I can use the inking tools. I do that by tapping the outer edge and selecting the pen. Here I can change colors and begin annotating directly on the screen. When I exit full screen mode, I get a message asking whether I want to keep these annotations. If I do, they simply remain in the PowerPoint as JPEG images that can be edited out later. If I discard them, they go away. Many of the programs that you're already accustomed to using have these inking tools that you can use on the touchscreen. PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Excel, and Adobe.